Opinions on LGBTQ community, do you support? How is your mental health? Oh man. <laughs> So I've set up this little spot here at the beach for the morning. I've got my book, Reading the Happiness Trap. I might talk about it later. I do have this piece of canvas that I sketched out something on ages ago that I might start painting today. Either this hammock or this camera is not in the best position for filming, but we'll work with it. just land directly on my phone. <laughs> so I'm headed to a juice place. If you're a Burley local, you already know the exact place I'm talking about, but it's pretty hard to film. It's super windy today. Also, this is a very public sort of walkway. All right, so I got the juice, waited like 20 minutes for it as usual, but pretty much always worth it. Um, there's a really cool bus across the street, actually. Let me show you. What a guy. So it's 11.30. I need to be back at the studio by one because someone's coming to pick up a bunch of boxes from the studio. So I'm going to head back home and I will have a chat to you at the studio because it's in quite a state at the moment. <laughs> Can't wait for you to see that. It's a huge mess. Okay, so welcome to my mess. I just absolutely inhaled a whole container of ravioli. Feeling a little bit sluggish now. It doesn't look as messy as it actually is. There's actually a box just here, two boxes under the desk because they wouldn't fit back there. I'm waiting for someone to come and pick up a few of these boxes to take to Sydney just to clear it out a little bit. The rest of them I'm attempting to work through in a somewhat methodical way. If you're really new here and you don't know why I'm hoarding cardboard boxes, <laughs> all of this is full of new product for my clothing brand Rift. No point even turning the studio light on at the moment because you can't see it because there's boxes everywhere. I was nearly going to make a coffee when I was at home and I was like, no, you don't need a coffee. You've already had one. I needed a coffee. I'm like very quickly running out of gas. Either that or I just didn't need to eat a kilo of ravioli which has put me into like a food coma type state. So today's agenda is I'm going to try and get a video up by this afternoon. It is already this afternoon so that's very optimistic. I have a, a stressful amount of emails to get through today. <laughs> With any luck I might get to see the sunset today and not just be in this room wondering when it became 9pm so <laughs> we'll see. While I was out though I did notice you obviously saw that old sick bus that I liked very much but there are so many. If you walk down like that main Burley Street you see so many vans so many buses just people living the hashtag van life basically there is always some shirtless dude fire twirling someone is always somehow playing the bongos so if you want to know what it's really like to live on the Gold Coast in the Burley area well bongos and fire twirling that's pretty much it I was blessed enough to see some beautiful troopies I love troopies the next car I get I really want to be a troopie I want to do the backup so I can sort of camp in it go on little adventures around Australia since we're stuck here I figured I might as well make some kind of a goal to see my country since we can't leave slash maybe just see my state because we're trapped here too. Not complaining I understand it's necessary and also I'm thankful that we're not Victoria but also still would like to leave. Anyway at the moment I'm tentatively saving up to be able to buy slash fit out a troopie however I'm also a little bit undecided should I be aiming for a Land Rover Defender because they look sick or a troopie because they also look sick. A little bit less sick but I think they're more reliable and I just love a troopie. So if you're a 4WD person let me know in the comments which vehicle out of these two 
two that I should probably be going for. Tips on how to even do a build in the back of either of those because I certainly don't know. I was hoping just to learn. <laughs> Most of my life is just winging absolutely everything so I thought I'd keep that train rolling. But if you do see any spawns coming up in the near future rest assured that is all going to the Troopy Fund so I can make more cool vlogs all around the country. Now I'm going to get stuck into this editing and hopefully get the video up by yeah, hopefully today, but I do not like my chances. Maybe, on, well, we'll see, I'll let you know. All right, she's still processing. Somehow I have managed to edit this video in time, so we're gonna go watch the sunset. Alright, so I thought I would sit down while I'm packing some things up and answer some questions that you guys have that I don't usually answer on this channel or anywhere for that matter. This situation really stressing me out. <laughs> this studio was such a vibe before all of this happened and now it's just stress. So I'm really trying to work through everything and get all of this picked up by the end of the week. You don't even want to know how many barcodes are in front of me. If I haven't already addressed it, all of this is for my clothing brand Rift. We have some new products coming on the way, which is all of this. Alright, questions. I ask these on the community tab of my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Just subscribe. It takes two seconds, makes my bloody day and put the notification bell on if you feel like it. First up, are you a virgin? <laughs> Let me just shuffle all this plastic out of the way. Oh, also, before we get to the answer of am I a virgin because everything needs to be packaged and barcoded individually before it's actually packaged for shipping because everything needs a barcode and that's just sort of how shipping works. Um, if you've ordered from Rift in the past you'll know that we have this biodegradable packaging. It's made from like a cornstarch material so it breaks down a lot faster than normal plastic. Not trying to destroy the environment however before we had this packaging we did have normal plastic packaging because it was all that was available at the time. This took quite a while to source so some of the new stuff will be in the old normal plastic packaging so if you do order it and you see that some of it's in normal packaging. It purely comes down to the fact that we had the choice of throwing out a bunch of perfectly good plastic packaging and using the biodegradable stuff or just making use of the plastic packaging that we did have and in the future switching everything to biodegradable. So it's not ideal but it is a lot more wasteful just to throw all the plastic packaging out and not use it. Just thought I'd flag that because we are phasing normal plastics out but in the process of phasing something out you need to use old stock as well. All right are you a virgin? That's a no mate. Absolutely scandalous. What is your heritage? Just a bit of spicy white basically. Mum's side of the family is mostly Italian. Dad's side has everything from like, I think, like English, I think that kind of blend. A bit of Fijian, possibly Kiwi, we're not even sure. We don't really know basically, but dad's like white, had blonde hair, light colored eyes, light skin, that kind of thing. My nonno looks quite stereotypically Italian, so does mum, and that's probably why I look like this. Is your TikTok algorithm free from straight TikTok now, or is it still messed up? It is so messed up. The only thing I've learned is that in making that straight TikTok video, I missed most of straight TikTok because it's all on my algorithm now. Opinions on LGBTQ community, do you support? Yeah, obviously. Very supportive of it, obviously. Anyone that watches my stuff for more than five minutes is very aware of that. Are you a socialist or generally anti-capitalist? Oh, this is a big question. I could go on a massive rant about this and I probably will. I get this question a lot. Actually, I don't really even get this question a lot. I get told that I'm communist scum a lot <laughs> and I get told that I'm a socialist hippie a lot and that I hate capitalism. Primarily by people who are just inexplicably angry about a passing comment that I've said regarding the state of the world. I don't, but regardless of that, I just don't hold allegiance to economic or political systems, period. A lot of people seem to assume that if you criticize the way that capitalism is failing in modern society, that you're automatically socialist or communist or, or just a dirty jobless hippie or whatever it is that they're saying. I'm personally of the opinion that if there is any belief system or opinion that you hold or stance that you take that you are so committed to that you can no longer criticize it, that's a very, very big problem, both on a personal level and as we've seen on a wider societal level. If you ever get to a point where you are so firm in what you think that you can no longer even question what you believe, then that's incredibly regressive and a very big problem. A lot of people also conflate capitalism with the economic system that we have in Australia currently, which is not strictly capitalism. It's more like capitalism with a bunch of socialism sprinkled in there. Australia's fantastic healthcare system could not exist in a purely capitalist society. The job keeper and job seeker and any kind of welfare program that we have in Australia and those kind of safety nets that help keep people out 
out of poverty for the most part. But also, especially at the moment, they sort of encourage people to keep spending money, which since we're in a recession is exactly what you need to get out of a recession. Disability pensions, tertiary education loans, the fact that your rubbish bins magically get picked up every single week by the government at no additional cost to you. The roads you drive on, the sidewalks that you walk on, the parks that you go to, the beaches and national parks are all maintained by public funding. That could not exist in the same way if Australia didn't adopt socialist policies at some point. But obviously Australia is a primarily capitalist society, but it is also nowhere near like America, for example. So as a whole, I don't have a huge issue with the hybrid sort of society that we have in Australia. Obviously there are still a lot of areas within our economy and our political systems and our society in general that aren't set up to benefit the majority. And there's a lot of areas that are just straight up not working and are either privy to corruption or were built so they could be corrupted. But does that mean that capitalism is a complete failure always? No. Does it mean socialism is a complete failure always? No. It just means that the way we're going about it and approaching whatever system we have isn't working perfectly and that it's worthy of criticism. So I really detest this idea of subscribing so strictly to one or the other to the point that you can no longer criticize the things that are clearly wrong with both systems or any system for that matter. Life doesn't exist in absolutes and it certainly doesn't exist on like the extremes of each spectrum, which is what a lot of these people base these assumptions off. Like these weird extremes that angry people in my comments seem to flock to. And it's like, chill out, dude, everything's all good. I just said corporate conglomerates should be taxed fairly. <laughs> like, billionaires should pay more tax than people earning 80 grand a year. The fact that that statement alone or similar statements can make people so scared and therefore so angry that they leave like an eight paragraph rant in my comments. I don't understand how the f that works, but anyway. Speaking of rants, what does this have to do with the initial question? Uh, are you a socialist? or generally anti-capitalist. That's why this rant started because I don't know how to answer that. I don't claim to be a socialist. I also don't claim to be a capitalist. Uh, living in a capitalist society, I obviously see a lot of ways that capitalism is failing. And I think you can absolutely point that out, criticize it and come up with better solutions without that meaning that you wanna tear down the entire system. Although people do hold that belief too, and that's fine. One thing I would love if, if you've watched this far into this rant, I would love for everyone listening to this who might be getting a bit triggered by what I'm saying to just wake up to the fact that while it's often people in the working or middle class who are really loudly and angrily defending capitalism, every corporate conglomerate, every massive company, every politician, every billionaire supports socialism, but not for you just for them. The biggest government handouts are given to companies that don't pay tax or pay very little tax compared to you specifically. Massive government handouts are constantly given to billionaires. Not the family of four from Logan who are trying to survive on job seeker at the moment. Every single politician who voted to cut or reduce welfare payments will be on welfare for the rest of their life because they're on political pensions for ever having been a politician. That is socialism. So I don't care what end of the spectrum you sit on, make that make sense. And if that's not worthy of criticism to you, then I'm not sure why you're even on this channel. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. Also, that wasn't necessarily directed at, at Bella. This topic in general just grinds my gears, to be honest. Gonna answer two questions at once. One says, how have you really been since COVID? And the other says, how's your mental health? Which I think are the same question, more or less. Honestly, when Queensland was in lockdown like months ago, it was not a good time. I had just moved back from far north Queensland and there's not like a lot of people my age up there. I did see a lot of friends in that. I was up there with Carly obviously but in terms of going from Brisbane where I'm constantly surrounded by friends to going up there where it's like few and far between. Very infrequent big hangouts and stuff like that. I was keen to get down to the Gold Coast and start making new friends here and hanging out with old friends and just being social and then lockdown hit pretty much straight away. So that was very difficult because I was already kind of feeling a little bit isolated. It was also a new place. I was trying to settle into a new house, a new environment. I didn't have a ton of friends here. So like everyone else, I was a bit like cooped up and sad and not doing too well. Also going from going on adventures all the time in far north Queensland, going to beautiful places, like constantly outside doing things to being in lockdown was very difficult. But lockdown did end pretty quickly for Queensland. I'm appreciative of that, obviously. And now everything's all fine and normal. I'm very, very busy with work, which I, I think is a good thing. I enjoy that. I live really close to the beach. I've started surfing more. I've made a bunch of new friends here. Everything's pretty good. No complaints other than the mess behind me. That is bothering me. <laughs> All right, I've effectively had a rant about capitalism and have packed absolutely nothing because I was ranting about capitalism. I don't know what's on the agenda for tomorrow, but I will see you there. Okay, so I did forget to like wrap this up, but making some decent progress on the boxes. I might even have it done tonight, hopefully. But anyway, that's all for this vlog, guys. If you want more of these vlog style videos, please let me know in the comments and I'll keep making them. 
but I give shout outs at the end of every video to people who subscribe and put the bell on and also to people who follow me on Instagram or TikTok. So YouTube shout out goes to Paul Styles, NC shout out goes to Goofball209 and TikTok shout out goes to Lax Rationality. Love to see it. Go clean your rooms, I'll clean my boxes and I'll see you in a few days with a new video.